it was possible going into tonight for the Oklahoma City Energy to be in first place in the USL Western Conference with a win against Salt Lake, they would be in the top spot. That was on their mind, continuing their unbeaten streak. So much going the right way for the Oklahoma City Energy. Taking on Salt Lake tonight. Salt Lake coming in the last place team in the Western Conference. But coach told me before the game, don't believe the hype. They have a lot of one loss games and it really showed tonight. Different lineup coming into tonight's game. No Gareth Evans serving a yellow card suspension, but Chewy Sanchez back in the lineup for Oklahoma City. Biscoff would play, would not start, coming off his injury as well. And yes, fashion forward Jimmy in the house. That's a good sign. Nothing going on in the first half. Second half, pick you up in the 53rd minute. Chewy with the corner kick. Greg with the header. Takudik with the header. Misses it just barely. Would stay scoreless until the 74th minute. The Olathe connection comes in handy. Captain Michael Thomas to Kyle Gregg. One nothing, Oklahoma City. Uh, I think just a long ball was kind of played across. I tried to head it back uh, toward the middle because I couldn't get a good piece on it. So the uh, ball just kind of popped, I think, off either MT or a, a defender. And I just saw a slight little opening and uh, kind of just took a chance and it paid off. Um, yeah, we were on the counter attack and uh, KC played it into Peter. Peter played a great ball out to me, I believe. Um, I looked up and me and KG and Danny Koenig, we work on crossing a lot after after training for a good you know, 10, 15 minutes almost every day. Um, KG was making a good run to the back post. I found him, but to be honest, it was it was all him. He got the he got the work done. I mean, I think the first shot was blocked, and he just reacted well and put it in the back of the net. So props to KG. And that's how this one would finish, folks. 1-0 Oklahoma City. They are now in first place in the USL Western Conference standings. Great victory. They also keep their unbeaten streak alive. It is now eight. Eight straight ties. Or four straight, three to one. It's a big win for the Oklahoma City Energy. They get the victory, which puts them in the first place in the USL West, but they keep their unbeaten streak alive. Four straight ties, then four straight wins. The unbeaten streak is eight. It is. It was huge, and that's what we talked about at halftime. We don't want to go into to two weeks uh, without a game here and, and have that feeling because we're disappointed, and, and, and we know we can do better. And the guys are excited about the three points, but they also know they can do better. We all can do better, and we will do better. You know, there's no bad team in this league. You know, um, Salt Lake City was a good team tonight. Um, they, they showed it. Um, you know, we know we're a good team as well, but every game is a battle. Um, at, the, at the end of the day, we got three points, and right now we're sitting at the top of the league, so we got to be happy about that. You know, it feels great. You know, always good to be at the top uh, going into a bye week. So uh, look to get a little, uh, little rest, a little regen, and uh, come back on two weeks flying. Off week, like we said in that interview, coming up, and then they stay at home to take on an Austin Aztec team that they have already beaten here at home before. So, if you need tickets to that Austin game, 235 kick, also go to energyfc.com. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram are all there for everyone here at the Oklahoma City First Place Energy. Have a good night. We'll see you next time, everyone.